It's going on adventures. I'm here with my mentee Jeff. We are all here turkey hunting in southwestern or southeastern uh, Minnesota. We are heard here a uh, gobblers already, so we're just slowly walking to the area and see if we can find something. So stay tuned. Come along. Let's go hunting. All right, so we we're at this uh, this edge. Field and kind of comes in this way, and we're just sitting about about 50 yards into the woods. And there's a hill, there's a hill going down that way. So we're hoping that the turkey will come this way, or maybe they'll come from the field. So I got Jeff, he's not uh, set up right there right now. Jeff, what do you think about this experience so far? Uh, it's been a great experience. Yeah. Yeah, because getting <laughs> to hunting so hard, you never know where to start. Right. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad uh, you're able to come out and uh, to to do this too. And it's uh, it's a lot of learning. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's like uh, you never stop learning. So. Yeah, that's what the other mentor said too. Yeah. Every time you come out, they learn something new. Mm -hmm. Right. And that's that's a cool thing about hunting or anything outdoors. It's uh, you never stop learning. Yeah. You learn something today, you might, you can uh, learn something from uh, other other hunters too, and mm -hmm. and uh, you just put it all together, and before you know, it, you have this big arsenal of uh, techniques and tactics and yeah. ways to track and harvest yeah. animals. Mm -hmm. so, but we're gonna call it a morning for now. See the thunder will pass. You get a hundred percent chance of rain today, so. And tomorrow is supposed to be better. So we just did a little bit of scouting back here. And uh, it's promising. So I'll catch you guys later. All right, well guys, now it is the afternoon. We are set up in the ground blind. This is the Tieway 270 see-through. We got Jeff right here. It's all set to go. So Jeff, I know it was, we just set up, so I want you to take your shotgun and pretend that you see something. That way so you can get a feel of uh, your, pretend you're getting ready to shoot something. Would you stick the barrel out? Oh uh, yeah, you can stick the barrel out. Right, so you get a feel of uh, your your surrounding inside here, so you know how to move. Since you're shooting uh, left-handed, do you do you think you're more comfortable on this side? Uh, yeah, probably. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, we can switch. Yeah, either way. Okay. We'll switch. I'm thinking of too. <laughs> Want to get ready that way so you know that you have enough room yeah. mm -hmm. 
that you can move it from side to side, like the, the turkey's moving towards towards me, you know. Do you use the barrel to push it down the Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes, you use the barrel to push it down. Now let's say that turkey is coming from your 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 right side. From the right side. Mm -hmm. Now you, uh, from, and you can get up if you need to, and then always like you get, get the most best position. Mm -hmm. And then uh, let's try moving your your chair back a little bit too. Oh, hold on, shotgun. And now what we're trying to do is we're trying to find the best possible position. That way so when a turkey does come, we don't have to move around a lot. Yeah, just get a feel for it. I don't want to blow your, your body <laughs> up. <laughs> yep. yeah, let's see that. So since there's two of us on here, this our, our field of uh, shooting range will be from about 45 degrees that way mm -hmm. and 45 degrees this way. So if anything comes uh, past this way, we'll wait until it comes into range or we'll have to pass it up. But if they come uh, on that side, then yeah, you have full range on that side oh, as well. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you can stick it out and you, if you have to get up, you can get up to, to aim. Mm-hmm. And then just practice a uh, little practice like you're following the turkey. So let's say they're starting from your right side and they're moving over towards the decoy. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yep. Yep, good. All right, so now, now I have a better feel like if something does come out, then you have a. Mm -hmm. Better to practice now than uh, or to having a trick out there than, yeah. <clears throat> All right, guys, let's hope we get a tricky. Are we gonna get a tricky today, Jeff? Of course we are. All right. <laughs> All right, it's, now we just gotta wait and do some calls and wait for the rain to shut down. And usually turkeys uh, do come out right after the rain. So, so it's gonna be quiet time here pretty soon. It is almost 11. It's been raining since about nine o'clock, and turkey should be moving as soon as the rain stops. So let's go get some. Let's go get some feathers. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Our two decoys set out too. We got one that 25 yards and 30 yards. For for shotguns, uh, as long as you're within range, you're good. But it's mostly for like archery, obviously you don't have to range all the time. And your decoys are already your reference points for you. So just a little quick tip for you guys. So Jeffrey, are you having a good time so far? Yeah, it's yeah. great. <laughs> what would you think of a little hike through the woods? We found a pond and some deer trail. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, uh, we spooked a bunch of ducks. Right. Yeah. That was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I think we probably spooked about, probably about 30, 40 ducks, or maybe more. Yeah, there was a bunch of them. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Don't know what kind of ducks out there were. I think they were probably mallards. I didn't, or we couldn't really see them. Uh, they started flying when we were probably about 50 yards from it. So, yeah, they have really good hearing. So, and we're back at our setup right here. And uh, let's go back into the blind and uh, hopefully something comes through.
Well, so we got ourselves stuck. It's uh, very slippery, very slippery mud. Good thing I brought the traction boards. Let's uh, see if we can get out. It worked. <laughs> Make sure uh, if I go backward, will I fall back into the hole? Or? No, you won't. I don't think it was that big. It doesn't look deep, right? But yeah. It's fucking in and everything. It's actually not deep, but yeah, it's just mucky. Oh. Got some use out of them today. Expo traction boards. <laughs> I got stuck. Jeez, you get scared away turkey. Oh, did I? <laughs> yeah, we were right in front of the, We were trying to wave you guys. All right, good morning, guys. This is day two of the hunt, day three of the weekend. And uh, Jeff and I are here, set up already. It is right around 5.30 in the morning. The, I don't know if you guys, the camera will pick it up, but there's a lot of gobbling going on right now. I'm hearing at least two to three gobblers. So I'm gonna start gobbling in a bit or yelping. And hopefully something comes through. All right, Jeff, you all set? Yeah. All right, Jeff is all set. I'm all set. Let's go do some hunting. I guess you can hear the gobbling, but they're gobbling pretty, pretty good right now. They seem to be coming in and out. That person seemed like they were heading off further, but then it seems like they're coming back. You know, it seems like they're going a little bit more, more west. But we're just uh, trying to call them in. So far, nothing yet, but it's still early. All right, we're just gonna go stalking from them now. They seem to be getting farther away, so we're just gonna slowly head towards the direction of the gobble and hopefully we can get close to them, at least see them or something, so. All right, let's go.
Jeff, what do you think of it so far? Stopping yeah. them. Yeah. Much different. Yeah. yeah. Get the blood pumping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we got pretty close to them, probably about yeah. 100, 100 yards. So. But these turkey, they move pretty fast. They have real good hearing. And I mean, we did jump a hen earlier. So that was pretty cool. But these turkey are moving pretty fast. They're down, down this hill now. I think we're just gonna head back that way, head back to the pond, yeah. then loop around, and that'd be almost time to head back to camp anyway. So, okay. well, guys, that's uh, the hunt for this weekend. Uh, we didn't get no gobbler, but we did see that uh, one hen and uh, deer, so it was pretty exciting. Yeah. So, what's your over overall uh, review of the whole weekend? Your first time hunting? Oh, I thought it was great. It was really well organized. Uh, Leaf was great, really patient with me on my <laughs> questions, uh, getting up late. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was great. I want to go again, probably for F season. Awesome. Probably to this spot again, because we know they're here, and give it another try. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it was a lot of fun. Awesome. Yeah, so yeah, hunting, it's uh, not always about harvesting uh, an animal that you're pursuing, but it's all about the experience, and uh, eventually uh, the harvest will come. So just uh, have patience and just keep at it and and just enjoy uh, nature. So, all right, as always, follow your dreams, follow your passions, make it happen. See you guys on the next video. <laughs>